On March 19, 2003, the search for weapons in Iraq began with a massive display of U.S. military might over Baghdad. Though the weapons were never found, the U.S. troops did find a lot of bizarre things. Like toilets and guns made of gold and Saddam's romantic novel. Specifically, they found aircraft buried in the sand next to a perfectly good airfield. One day in 2003, American forces near al takatam Air Base in Iraq began pulling scores of MiG-25 Foxbath fighters and Su-25 Frogfoot fighter bombers out of the sand. The aircraft were missing wings but, for the most part, remained fairly well kept, despite being in the sand for who knows how long. But why did they bury them? Because the Iraqi Air Force was unable to defend Iraqi airspace. At two air bases, the dictator ordered that his most advanced fighters be buried in the sand near the airfields. In retrospect, this was probably a good decision. Saddam hoped that by saving the aircraft in the sand, he could protect them from the US Air Force because he assumed he would still be in power after all was said and done, so he could unbury them later. That, of course, didn't happen.